In this video, I'll be going over Fedosha Agrestis and its ability to boost testosterone and if it is a safe supplement to take for that purpose. Fedosha Agrestis is an herb that acts as an aphrodisiac and has gained a lot of popularity over the recent months, mainly because of Andrew Huberman on the Joe Rogan podcast. And so I not only want to go over its ability to boost testosterone, but also if it's a safe supplement to take because there are no human studies on this supplement. Now, I don't usually go over rat studies and it's not because I don't like rats, it's because rats are not humans. But I will go over this one because it's a very popular supplement. So let's get started. Okay, so the first study I'm gonna go over is the only study on Fedosius Agrestis' ability to increase testosterone. So we can look at this paper here titled Aphrodisiac Potentials of the Aqueous Extract of Fedosia Agrestis. So this study looked at 60 mice divided into four groups getting 18 milligrams per kilogram, 15 milligrams per kilogram, and 100 milligrams per kilogram of Fedosia Agrestis versus placebo. Rats that were given the 18, 50, and 100 mg per kg Fedosha Agrestis had dose dependent testosterone levels increased by twofold, threefold, and sixfold, respectively. So basically, the rat group that took the low dose doubled their testosterone levels from baseline before they took the supplement, and the high dose rat group increased their testosterone levels by 500%. Now, that is a pretty significant boost in even the low dose group for doubling their levels. Those are pretty good results, but again, these are rat studies, not necessarily human studies, so we take it with a grain of salt. Also, not only the testosterone levels increased by taking Fedosha Agrestis, but intromission frequency and mount frequency. And basically what this kind of means is just basically how many times sexual intercourse happened with these rats. So they basically put a male rat and a female rat inside of a cage or something. And basically they measured the libido of these male rats, how often they wanted to get with the female rats. And this also increased along with testosterone. So we have three big positives in terms of sexual activity so far with Fedosha Agrestis. And also another positive was a decrease in intromission latency. This is how quickly the rats wanted to engage in sexual activity with the female rats. So now you're probably thinking, wow, that's great. It'll increase my sexual libido by a lot, increase my testosterone, everything will be good. But we're not going to go on to the negatives, which is the safety parameters. And there are several studies here that I want to go over. Now, the same study showed that Fedosha Agrestis had a side effect of increased ejaculation latency. Now, I don't think I have to go over why that's not a good thing. But we have the next one here. This next study shows that Fedosha Agrestis increased testicular weight by 11 to 15% with an increase in silica acid, cholesterol, and glycogen content in the testicles. After 10 days, the testicle weight did not recover back to its original weight. Again, I don't think I have to mention why this is not a good thing. This is not something that we're after with Fedosha Agrestis. It's increasing testicular weight, it's increasing the size of the testicles, and it's not going back down after 10 days of discontinuation of Fedosha Agrestis. I'm sure it'll go down eventually, but 10 days after discontinuing, that's a pretty long half-life for the medication or the supplement to stay inside of your body and not reverse its effects. And prolonged enlarged testicles can lead to infertility and decreased testosterone production. Now, this last study I want to go over in terms of safety with Fedosha Agrestis has to do with the liver and the kidney. And in this study, we saw some liver and renal abnormalities in the rat studies. The other evidence in this study suggests disruption of the ordered lipid bilayer of the plasma membrane of hepatocytes and nephrons. And hepatocytes are basically the liver cells and nephrons are the kidney cells. So, so far, Fedosha Agrestis' side effect profile includes increasing testicular weight, increasing ejaculation latency, and damaging the two most important organs in the liver and the kidney. Not great. So now that I've gone over the side effect profile and the efficacy, we're now gonna move on to dosing. And something to remember again is that all these results were dose dependent. So the higher the dose, the worse the side effects and the better the results of the increase in testosterone and the increase in sexual libido. So we wanna kinda of find a sweet spot to see where we would get good results and lower uh, side effects. But since these were rat studies, and if you guys have ever seen a rat, you will notice that a rat is much smaller and weighs a lot less than a human being. So some scientists have come up with a formula that kind of differentiates or equalizes the equations. So they say if you divide the dose that you give a rat by six, that's equivalent to the human dose. So we're just gonna go based off of that and see if that makes sense and what kind of dosage we can get based off of what supplements are even out there uh, in the market. So again, the rats were given 18, 50, and 100 mg per gig. Let's just take the middle one, 50 milligram per kilogram as our example and see what we can do. So 50 mg per gig, we divide that by six to get the equivalent human dose that comes out to 8.3 milligrams per kilogram. And if you're American like me and have no idea what a kilogram is, 
that converts to 3.4 milligrams per pound. So for a 150 pound person, that's around a 500 milligram dose. And for a 200 pound person, that's about a 680 milligram dose. Now, if you go on Amazon and you type in Fedosha Agrestis and you see what they have, you will see that a lot of them come in 600 milligram doses. So you're basically in this middle dose group if you do take that 600 milligram per kilogram dose, which is good, I guess. You're not on the low dose and not on the high dose. You're kind of in the middle and then you can kind of figure out if you want to take a higher dose um, yourself or maybe you can find a lower dose somewhere. Now, something you can do to try to minimize the side effects is to cycle on and off with the Fedosha Agrestis. So a common way that people do it is two weeks on, one week off, or even two weeks off. So you take the supplement two weeks every day, and then you stop for one week or two weeks to let your body kind of recover and not get those liver and kidney damage side effects. And this way is also good because you can kind of lower your risk of tolerance. Now it doesn't really matter whether you want to take Fedosha Agrestis in the morning or at night, but it's probably better to take it in the morning to kind of increase your testosterone levels um, higher than what they are. And if you're going to go to the gym, probably better to do it take it before the gym and it doesn't matter with or without food however if you do experience a little bit of nausea or headache then taking it after a meal or with a full glass of water can help with that now i have a few other videos where i go over testosterone and some other supplements um, i go over tonkat ali i go over boron and i go over shilajit which are things that if they interest you you can check those videos out as well i'll link them in the description for you but if you enjoyed this video please leave a like and subscribe to the channel and i'll see you guys next time